Welcome to Gabriel Sunday School Online Service. I'm Teacher KB here again. Today's Teacher KB will be teaching on one who forgets Thanksgiving and one who gives thanks in this month of Thanksgiving. Now, before we start, let us bow our heads for a short prayer. Father, we pray that may your Holy Spirit guide, illuminate, fill us to gain a better understanding of what is the true meaning of thanksgiving through today's lesson. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, today's main verse is from Psalm chapter 50, verse 22 to 23. Teacher KB will read for you all. Now consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you in pieces, and there will be none to deliver he who offers a sacrifice of thanksgiving honoured me, and to him who orders his way, a right I shall show the starvations of God. So, after reading the verse, what does it mean? Hmm, many question marks in your head, right? Never mind, Teacher KB will go through one by one with you all to let you all understand what does this verse means. First of all, we have to look at those who forget God versus those who give thanks to God. Those who forget God versus those who give thanks in this light. Alright, first, Teacher KB will let you children know about those who forget God. Alright, they are the people who live an unthankful lives, just like this picture. You see this girl? Is very unthankful, right? The expression and opposite of her, all right, are those who give thanks to God and those who offer thanksgiving honored God. Honored is equal to pleasing, like in this picture, all right. Now, since we know about those who are pleasing to God. All right, these are often times we will help those who are pleasing to us, i.e. like our best friend versus stranger. We will definitely help our best friend when he or she needs help, right? Because they are pleasing to us. So how far more would those who are pleasing to God be blessed with prosperity in their lives, studies, friends and parents? See, if we are pleasing to God, God will bless us a lot. Right? For example, Teacher KB would like to share something and you can think about it. I believe some children have pets or dogs at home. Even dogs won't bite or bark at the owner, right? Because they are because they are pleasing to the owner and the owner is pleasing to them. But wait a minute. Some people do not consider such blessings or thinking and they are just thinking that that's just a story in the Bible or I'm going to live my own ways, my own life. But wait a minute, we have to heal God's advice and heal God's warning which is in Psalm chapter 50 verse 22 to 23 which is our main verse for today's lesson. Teacher KB will read again to all of you. Now consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you in pieces, and there will be none to deliver. He who offers a sacrifice of thanksgiving honored me, and to him who order his ways aright, I shall show the salvations of God. So, what does it mean now? We will have a clearer picture. Alright, when God actually stated Psalm chapter 50 verse 22 to 23, God is saying, I will tear you in pieces and there will be none to del deliver. Meaning, because you don't love me and hate me, I will do the same to you. Children, do you want God to be like that to us? For teacher KB, I do not want. And this verse must provoke fear in us every time we read it. 
We must be fearful. And also God laments for us. Look around all the heavens and the earth. Heaven, I create all these things. You live in this world that I have faithfully created. And yet you are not thankful towards your master, which is God. And God shows his love through saying, I cherish you. I desire to take care of you and save you. So please love me, God, deeply in your heart. God is telling us to love him deeply in our heart. However, there are still people who knew God but did not honor God. As in Romans chapter 1 verse 21, For even though they knew God, they did not honor Him as God or give thanks. But they became futile in their speculations and their foolish heart was darkened. Now, teacher KB will go through one very interesting story in the Bible with all of you. And which is the result of forgetting God and thanksgiving. Everyone would know King Hezekiah. King Hezekiah, alright, Israel at the time enjoyed peace and prosperity under God's protection. But once Satan entered King Hezekiah, he forgot the grace of God. So God torn his peace, torn him in pieces. And the kingdom instantly plunged into chaos. Only then, he became afraid and asked for forgiveness in tears. And God healed the nation. As in 2 Chronicles chapter 32, verse 25 to 26. So, from 2 Chronicles chapter 32, 25 to 26. But Hezekiah gave no returns for the benefit he received because his heart was proud. Therefore, rage came on him and on Judah and Jerusalem. However, Hezekiah humbled the pride of his heart, both he and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that the rage of the Lord did not come on them in the days of Hezekiah. As I have mentioned in my previous slide, Hezekiah repent, and therefore God healed the nation. Now, Teacher KB would like to share this verse, Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 11, with all of you, to serve as a warning to all of us. Alright? It reads, Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping His commandment and His ordinance and His status, which I am commanding you today. Children, we must be mindful of this verse. So, the results of forgetting God and forget thanksgiving. When we leave God, we forget God's grace and we forget to give thanks only seeing the world, the worldly things like computer games, even sweets, food, or going out to play without fellowship with God, we lose interest in God, which I have mentioned, and our heart get darkened. And then, we will be torn into pieces when we forget the grace we have received from God. And, very importantly, Nothing goes well when we leave from thanksgiving. Please don't forget this, children. Nothing will ever go well for us when we leave from thanksgiving. So, we should always be thankful for what we have. Like for the health, for the life, and being accepted by God, for the grace, for the hope as in this picture. Also, we must be thankful even at times of poverty, troubles. But with your heart, prayers and praise, read the Bible and give thanks always. As in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18, it reads, Rejoice always! Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Alright, we must always rejoice 
and pray without ceasing and in everything whether it's good or bad we must give thanks so now children it's a self-reflection time all right teacher kb will ask you a few questions you think it through first have i forgotten god or not am i reading the bible Am I praying for myself and others? Is there love in my life? Is the God's work with me in my life? Is there prayer and praise in my personal life and family? Am I serving the church and giving thanks? And finally, am I only filled with grumbling, envy and annoyance? Children, think about it. Finally, conclusion. Let us be determined to never again forget of God's grace. Never let go of the grace that hold us and to never forget to give thanks to God always, be it good or bad. We honor God when we give glory to God and give an offering of thanksgiving. May we live a life of thanksgiving until the day we enter the kingdom of God, which is heaven. May we always give thanks for our parents and the many things that God has done for us, children. Now, let's close our eyes and bow our head for a short closing prayer. Father in heaven, may we always give thanks to you in times of goodness and also in times of bad times. May we have a thanksgiving heart always to you. May you let us know the true meaning of thanksgiving always and be this true meaning of thanksgiving be imprinted in our heart always in jesus name we give thanks and pray amen finally children let's recite the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Bye, children. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I